when I saw this, I was like over the moon. Like finally a ninja show that's going to capture without the silliness, you know. I've seen a lot of great ninja shows. Like Naruto is a ninja show, but it's got a bunch of silliness to it. This had the seriousness of it. It started off with the seriousness of it. The first few episodes... Uh, he again performs as super cool art and stuff. We understand, we follow the story that this man has a former ninja. He left the ninja way because, you know, he wanted to be in love with the girl that he was in love with. And the ninja way prevented that and the clan would have killed him. So instead of, you know, the family, his clan are, are sort of looking for him to kill him. But now he's, he's fleed to a rural area place in america and he's living happily with his wife and son it's got these cool gadgets that they put on their necks that change their faces and make them look caucasian and not japanese i was like oh my god this this finna be dope and he's got this cool mask and with the fang it's, he's looking like a real ninja you know the ninja stuff i was like this is amazing and then you get this detective johnson emma they throw in the Yauza Corporation and then it just gets complicated and weird. Like, I wanted to see ninjas with katanas and, uh, and kunai and shit. But instead, I'm watching a bunch of Poundland Iron Man. This is, this, this is like me watching uh, the Power Rangers in the 80s. Just a guy in a suit being ridiculous. But don't get me wrong, this is entertaining as fuck. The skills, the fighting, oh, it's amazing. But I just feel let down a little bit. I just, I thought they would stay to their nature. Like, I thought I would see a ninja who would be fighting because of his ninja technique, his jutsu, whatever it is, against a force that's using technology. Ninjas that have abandoned their way and are sort of using technology. I thought he was going to attack them the ninja way. Using some forbidden jutsus and being cool. But instead, he too gets a super suit. And he's like Iron Man bit. He's like a, the, the Voltron force for fuck's sakes. It's a guy in a suit. Only difference between him and Iron Man is. Iron Man designs his own shit. With this one, uh, Hagen doesn't design his shit. He's just a very skilled fighter. He's a very skilled uh, martial artist. He's a very skilled ninja with great ninja capabilities and whatnot. So that makes him cool. Better than Iron Man in that sense because he knows how to fight. But for fuck's sakes, why did they have to put a suits in them? I feel like they didn't need suits. I would have been okay if he was beating up these guys and they had suits on. Because they have abandoned their ninja way. The natural way. The sword. The art of Bushudo. If I'm saying that right. But no, he too was abandoned in his, way, in his quest for revenge. I get it. This is sad. Dude's wife and child are killed right in front of him, Bram. Right in front of him. And, and a cool jutsu's performed on him, or he performs the duty that makes him look like he's dead, but he ain't dead. And wakes up in a hospital morgue after being presumed dead, and he scares the shit out of everybody. And this FBI agent is like... Oh, hell no. He first tries to investigate him and shit like that. And, and, and then it gets more thicker and more funner. And I'm like, oh my god, this is really good. You know, he was beating these dudes on top of a rooftop alone, bleeding. I was like, my god, this is the shit. I had no problems with the, the villains or the CEO of Aoza and everybody else wearing suits and shit. I had no problems with it. I was more interested in Hegan using his ninja way. Martial arts. I don't know if it's... Do ninjas do martial arts? Is it called martial arts? Whatever it is. I was like, this assassin nigga better use his assassin techniques. I get it. Grant, I get it. It doesn't necessarily mean he needs to level the playing field so he has a better fighting chance against people who are using metallic or robotic suits. Him being... Just using his fist and knuckle is not going to cut it. I get that. I'm just disappointed. I just thought it would be just ninja shit. Now it's westernized shit. Hey, it's from Anime Swim. I get it. You know, I get it. I get it. They got a, they did produce a Japanese version of it and an English version. They release at the same time. So you can watch either one you like and cool. It's all good, bro. 
I just I would have been more happier if if he stayed true to the ninja way. But besides that, forget about the ninja culture, the Japanese tradition. If we move that shit outside, oh my god, this show is amazing. This show is good. It's really good. I don't, the only thing that I think will compete against it, it's probably solo leveling. That shit is amazing. And I just finished the first season. I don't know when it's going to return. I don't know how many episodes this uh, Ninja Kuma thing has. Uh, but I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. It's really good. I just wish he stayed true to the anime. I mean, not true to the anime. True to the ninja way. Ooh, that, that's, let me put that close. That's my knuckles, bro. I just wish they stayed true to the bare knuckles. Fighting and swords and shit. But now it's metallics and, and energy powers and shit. Ah. But I'm still gonna watch it, though. I'm still gonna watch it. I'm still gonna recommend it to diggers. Go watch it, fab. It's dope. It's really good. Don't listen to me saying it, it's whack. It's whack because I had expectations. It just went a different direction than I was hoping it would go. But doesn't necessarily mean it's horrible. It's really good. It's entertaining. It's uh, informative. You don't. You're not left in wonder. Like oh my god. They don't leave cliffhangers like like soul level. Like oh no, soul level. They leave a bunch of cliffhangers, bro. Maybe I should do a review on that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, bye for now. And uh, thanks for watching. Everybody hit that sub and like button. Uh, I've been your boy with Chanson. Talking about anime. Maybe I should do a show on that. Talking about anime, talking anime, anime talk, something like that, whatever. Whatever works, works. Now that was entertaining. Please let us hang out yet another time. Remember to like and subscribe. Adios, folks. Adios.